All right, a couple of years ago, this pond dam busted and we just hadn't had a chance to get in here and work on it, but you see where it busted. So what I'm gonna do is I got a pretty good sized tractor with a front end loader on it and a box blade and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna get a big pipe to go right there. We've got three eight inch pipes right here and a culvert back there and that didn't handle it. So I'm probably gonna go with an 18 inch 18 inch culvert in here. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do anyway if we can find some. And I'm gonna cover it back up and let it sit for about, I don't know, six months to a year and make everything, you know, make sure everything settles in good before we start, you know, backing some water up on it. But uh, this is the only way to get to the, the property we have in the back back there. Got another pond on back, further back, and it's just hard to get to it. So I've been down here, uh, trying to figure out a way and what I'm gonna do is get down there and clear that grass out and then all the trees and stuff, get all that mess out of there and then start pushing dirt in there on top of it. Get it up just a little bit and then set that pipe, make a good bed for that pipe. You know, that big culvert to sit in. Got me a good good pile of dirt right here so I can start pushing as soon as I need to. and borrowed this tractor right here. So I'm just sure don't want to tear this thing up. I don't think I can afford it, but it's nice. Four wheel drive tractor, pretty good size, moving some dirt. A while ago I was moving, you know, pulling that bank off and uh, I didn't know it and had no idea, but there was a big rattlesnake in there. And I'd be dog if I didn't crush him i just pulled him out while i go and looked at him but i crushed him i undoubtedly he was somewhere up in that right there and when i dropped that blade and i was just pulling back i guess i caught him but it's a good size good size snake right there look at the rattlers on that thing just don't really like to kill them especially back here but uh you know that couldn't be helped i had no idea he was he was either in the ground because it's still a little cool it was sure cool last night or he was on top of the ground laying in one of those piles and i just crushed him when i pulled him back with this blade on the front couldn't be helped though i know a lot of y'all saying good good snake dead one but i i try not to kill them unless they're you know somewhere close by a house or something and then sometimes i can move them but that's what i'm working on today and this is going to be a pretty good video. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get this thing done, and then that way we can get across and around to that other pond. Got a lot of, of uh, yo ponds that's covered the road back up, and stuff on the other side, and that way we can get over there and start pushing that stuff out of the way and trimming it up and and getting to that other pond. Y'all hang in there. We're gonna make this happen. So what I did is I pushed all of the grass and everything off of bushes and little saplings and stuff just pushed it out of the way with that with that front end loader right there and then that way i wouldn't be putting any of that back into the dam and then just started uh started pushing you know pulling this dirt this way to fill up this big hole and put an 18 inch pipe in there probably about 30 feet right at 30 feet still got the back side to cover up but Just a lot of tractor work, you know, back and forth. Had to cut the dam down right here. That's why you got banks on both sides. We'll fill all that in. It's just gonna take some time with the box blade and, the, and that little loader. Just pulling it back in. But gotta fill up the back side of this dam right here where we joined those pipes together. Had a little old leak. And I don't know exactly what was going on with the gasket, but that's the only reason I haven't put dirt in there yet. And I'm going to start pushing that in there and packing it as I go. I'm just going to push a little bit, and I'm going to get down there and pack it with a with that stump right there around that pipe. Make sure everything's super tight. Because this sand, let me tell you, it'll pack. But I just wanted to make sure that's why it's so far down in there and hadn't put the dirt around it yet. But, yep, got her looking good. Probably going to let this thing sit for just like it is for probably six months to a year because I don't want to I don't want to put the weight you know all this on I just don't want to do it yet I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it rain on it 
run across it, you know, 500 times with the vehicles going back and forth and, uh, you know, for six months to a year and just make sure that we're, uh, we got it good and packed because this is not, this is sand, it's not clay like we, you know, like you'd love to have in a dam. And uh, it'll leave here. If that water ever goes over the top of this sand dam, it's gone. I mean, you see what it did, it blew a hole in it. Back when we had, uh, you know, a big, a big rain. And those little three eight, eight inch pipes right there did not handle it. So I'm hoping with the three eight inch pipes, Plus that, plus this covered up here, but now it lasted, that other one lasted for probably 10 years or something before we had, uh, you know, just the right kind of rain to, uh, you know, to blow it, you know, to blow across it and blow it out. But I also got a pipe right here too, a big culvert right there. That and takes care of a lot of the, a lot of the water too. So that's like an overflow. So all I got to do is build everything up to this level, which is a pretty good bit, but it just takes a little time on the tractor and I'm not going to be in any hurry to do it because uh, I got six months. Well, I got from now on, you know, no big rush. Just going to get it as a got time. Come down here and just pull some dirt across it right now. I know everything's going to be good though. Well, I'll give you all another video in a little bit when I get this pipe covered up in the back and that'll finish this up. Let me get back on this tractor. Whew. Let me tell you, this sun has burnt me up today. I look like a crawfish. I mean, red as a tomato. Nice, beautiful sight right there. Got it built up pretty good bit. Still gonna put some more dirt right there. Look at this little old fella I just found. Ain't that thing cute? It's a little old bitty tadpole, I'm telling you. But still gotta cover this pipe right here up. I just wanted to make sure that joint, that joint's about two or three foot up in there. And if I had to dig in there and fix it again, I didn't want to have to dig too much. So I'm just waiting on that. Just, just going to give it a little time and make sure it's not going to leak before I finish up. You know, you know, poking dirt in there on top of it and packing it in real good. But look at that. In the process right now of clearing the overhanging limbs all the way up this road. they It's unbelievable what it can do in two years time. It's just covered the road up. And on that old Toyota, it don't matter, but uh, you know, you wanna take a new vehicle up and down through here, we're gonna, it's gonna rip the hide off of it pretty quick. But that Toyota, it don't matter, but that's what I've been doing, a little set of snips and just walking up through here. Trimming limbs, especially when we're going up that, that hill right there, it just gets bad, the Yopons just, you know, overgrown really bad. But that's it, folks. Still got a lot of dirt to add right there, and I'm, I'm going to be working on that here and there when I get time. Just trying to get as much done as we can while we're waiting on the floor covering to come in for Hannah's house. And this gives me something to do. I'm always having to do something. Well, I tell you, I'm proud to be able to get over here to this other pond. I'll have to show you all a video on that other pond over there. It's beautiful. Look at that. I hate that we lost this one. This one was full of big fish too. This was really just designed for a road to be able to get to this 80 back here in the back. And uh, it wound up having fish. We never stocked it or anything, but it was full of some big fish and it just busted. We got too much water at one, at one time, too much rain at one time, and it just couldn't handle it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all.